so we will understand uh, how rollback works in uh, ab initio so ma many a times our graph fails whenever uh, any issues comes right maybe in production or in lower environment as well so, or in gd2 right when we develop the any uh, graph or plan right so so there are commands to roll back uh, to the last completed checkpoint right so we have a different phases and checkpoints in graph we have already discussed about that so in uh, those lines like if you want to roll back uh, or this is uh, entirely for a recovery purpose right the roll back we what we do is and uh, we just re roll back not you know uh, entirely with respect to rerun right if anything fails we need to rerun from a certain point from a certain point in place or from the beginning so there are two options we have so if you talk about any graph right so if it fails though then we will try to recover it right so or also we will uh, try to uh, not run from the beginning if it is a long running or lengthy graphs right so we don't want to run from the beginning or probably it might have done something something to the you know system so that we don't want to roll back everything and then uh, right and we will we will try to roll back for us until a certain completed checkpoint let's say we have come three checkpoints third checkpoint is has completed and it it was trying to execute the fourth phase and it failed so we will just uh, roll back and then try to rerun from the that place so if you do the m underscore roll back and the recovery file then it will you know just roll back the uh roll back the graph uh, until the previous completed checkpoint and then we can try rerunning the, the graph this is first thing but uh, sometimes what we do is uh, we lose the or we may end up in corrupting the recovery file right so in those lines uh, we or we have end up in a context or in a situation like that that we don't want to keep uh, any we don't want to recover the graph actually we didn't we want to roll back everything right and so we specify the minus d as an option so what it will do is it will uh, remove the recovery file as well after rolling back everything it will re remove the recovery file as well so that the graph will not be starting from any uh, in between places it will start from the beginning whenever we run the graph again right so and uh, if it is a graph is running and we want to kill the process right so this is for graph for graphs for graphs and plants let's say okay not for for batch graph i should say for batch graphs so if you want to kill it right so if, if the graph is running and uh, we uh, we thought that uh, no it's, it's it should not be running like in this phase like this so we just want to kill it and then you know try to recover it so it will kill the job first right but it uh, may not be uh, uh, applicable it will not be applicable for continuous graph so in continuous graph you can uh, try uh, running the m underscore kill right for continuous graph or you can use the m underscore shut down right m underscore shut down or m underscore kill for the continuous graph for the continuous uh, continuous graphs okay and m underscore rollback hyphen key will not have any impact on the um, sorry for the running graphs m underscore uh, if you run the m underscore rollback minus d or m underscore rollback test dot uh, this this command or this command or m underscore rollback hyphen i so these command will not have an impact on the running graphs okay so it will not uh, nothing will happen to the graph okay so once the graph is uh, in failed state or it it's not running then only these three commands will work m underscore rollback hyphen i is for interactives right it will be uh, it will be uh, delete uh, it will recover to the last complete checkpoint and it will ask for the 
whether we want to delete the recovery file or not. So it will be interactive, right? So these are the few commands uh, with respect to the rollback of any graph, right? Uh, so, okay, thank you so much. Please subscribe my channel and we are going to see uh, some uh, these kind of videos, uh, these kind of sessions in times to come. Thank you so much.